After the French Air Force announced initial operational capability for the first Rafale F4.1 fighter jet, Dassault Aviation is gearing up for the next phase of development with the Rafale F4.2 standard. Two Chinese nationals were arrested at the India Nepal border, along with mobile phones, two Chinese SIM cards, and nine cards of different types in two small bags. India supplied 294 million packages of pharmaceuticals to Russia in 2023, replacing Germany as Russia's top medicine supplier. India has summoned US Acting Deputy Chief of Mission, for the comments on the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister, and India has said that fellow democracies should respect each other's sovereignty and internal affairs, or it could set unhealthy precedents. Goa Shipyard held the plate-cutting ceremony of third and fourth new generation offshore patrol vessel, marking the start of physical construction of these vessels. The RDO's Defence Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory has developed the technology of indigenous G-suits for pilots, and it will now transfer the technology to Troop Comforts Limited for production. Indian Coast Guard has inaugurated its first hovercraft maintenance unit in Gujarat. The Ministry of Defence has launched a new challenge under IDEX initiative, to develop an underwater object identification system using aerial hyperspectral imaging and artificial intelligence, that will provide the Indian Navy with a significant strategic advantage. Despite interest in Turkish Khan fighter jet, Pakistan is likely to induct Chinese J-31 fifth generation aircraft by 2029, mainly due to $100 million price tag of Turkish Khan fighter. India's first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft has conducted its first flight successfully today, marking a major milestone for India's indigenous fighter jet program. The Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet was spotted with a new canopy design, that will enhance visibility for pilots during aerial combat maneuvers. The most striking feature of the new canopy is a distinct bulge at the rear, that provides additional space for the pilot's helmet potentially improving situational awareness and reducing blind spots during dogfights. The new canopy design change might be a direct response to requests made by Tejas Mark I pilots. India is seeking assistance from Western defense companies to develop a fleet of three signal intelligence and communications jamming aircraft based on commercially available Airbus A319 jet. American firm L3 Harris and French firm Thales have both offered their expertise to aid India in developing these specialized aircraft, that can gather crucial intelligence by picking up radio frequency emissions deep within enemy territory, and disrupt enemy electronic communication, potentially hindering their operations. Top military analysts have said, that both the Indian Rafale and Chinese J-20 has front hemisphere stealth, however, Rafale's radar is world-class, which cannot be said about the J-20. Rafale's engine is also tried and tested, and is much better than the Chinese engines which are still evolving on the J-20. Rafale's Spectra EW Sweet and Meteor missile is among the best of its class globally, and the Indian Rafale fleet has greater exposure to integrated dissimilar air combat engagements and global reach missions as compared to Chinese J-20. Analysts also said, that the Indian Rafales would outclass Chinese stealth jets in a real one-to-one -one scenario, but the Indian Air Force is surely short on Rafale fighter jet strength, as China has around 230 J-20 aircraft as compared to only 36 Indian Rafale aircraft. The former military advisor to the National Security Council Secretariat has said, that there is a need for the establishment of an airborne command post as new advancements in satellite-based geospatial monitoring technologies have made concealing underground facilities increasingly difficult, and once these fixed installations are detected, they are susceptible to targeted attacks including communication jamming, while an airborne command post will offer enhanced survivability and redundancy to the nuclear command authority. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it.